this uh this post comes from Facebook as always, and this young lady pretty much you know got a got got a, a instructor fired, and now the other instructors are giving her a super duper hard time. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Because she went and reported on the uh, instructor and he was, you know, she, in her words, uh, throwing racial slurs. So we're not sure if they was like throwing racial slurs at her or maybe, you know, the instructor was kind of maybe talking amongst himself or amongst his co-workers or whatever racial epithet that was being used by him. Now, let me say this. I don't condone any racism. I really don't. I don't condone none of it. But we know it exists. Okay? We know it exists. A lot of people want to say that they're not racist, but then they turn around and say some racist epithet or something like that. So I I I don't condone it. I don't I, I don't like it, but I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say that my head is buried in the sand that we don't know people that still, you know, that are racist and uses racial slurs and stuff like that. So let's get into it. I'm attending a trucking school in Virginia and I reported on one of the instructors because he kept saying racial slurs. Now we're not sure what was said by him because she didn't go into detail of what was said, but she just said racial slurs and she reported. She thought it would be a good idea to, you know, go to the head office and say, hey, you know, instructor such and such. Ain't no telling how long he been there, you know, but we don't know if it was directed towards her or if it was in general. But I guess the school felt that, hey, we're not tolerating any type of, of inconsistencies like that. And they decided to cut ties with him. And now he's out of a job. So he got fired. And now they're giving me a hard time. So I was thinking about trying to apply at another trucking company that will train me and help me and help me obtain my license. I already have my permit. Now let me uh, A lot of people in the comment section, let me just, you know, let, let me just interject a little bit. A lot of people in the comment section say stay especially if you pay and i i kind of agree with that because if you already paid your money i you know i will stay but if you're going to leave see if you can get your money back you know you already went to the you know to the uh head office or whatever you already got somebody fired now the instructors that are there they probably might have been close friends buddies family or whatever the case and now they they looking at you as the bad guy so they don't want to mess with you they, they don't want to have nothing to do with you so that's why they're that's why they are giving you a hard time because they they feel that hey if you snitching on this dude and you got him fired who's to say that if i say something wrong you are gonna go and snitch on me. So they don't wanna be bothered with you. So of course, the training is gonna be lack thereof for, you know, going into the long run. If you got, if you still got time there, like, you know, three weeks or four weeks and you got like three weeks to go and you know it's gonna be hard, 
then yeah, I, I would go to the home office or front office and be like, hey, look, it's it's getting to the point that I'm not learning nothing. They're not teaching me nothing. They don't want to be around me. They don't want to show me. They don't want to help me. Let me just get my money back or give me a percentage of my money uh, back. And you just keep the percentage of what that I was here for. If I was here a week, you know, uh, let me get three weeks worth, you know, of my money back. Because as of right now, I'm not learning. I'm not, I'm, I'm not uh, getting the attention that I feel that, uh, that is conducive, that it helped me out. I just feel that um, that I'm, you know, I'm, I'm the bad guy, and it's just time for me to go. And I get you. It, you you got to do that. You got to do that. Okay. Now let me turn my attention to the people that screaming lawsuit, lawyer, uh, all that other good stuff. Are you guys gonna help her get a lawyer? Because y'all TikTok lawyers, Facebook lawyers, Instagram lawyers, y'all love screaming, get a lawyer. Don't lawyers cost money? And when you do get a lawyer, you're not going to get paid right away. All that takes time. All that takes investigation. All that takes money that a lot of these people on Facebook don't have. Now, this is not a, a, a get, uh, get rich quick type of situation, you know? And we don't even know if it's discrimination. We, we do know that the lack of the education is there because they kind of backing off on her. You know, I, I don't think, I, I think they, they doing it to, uh, to an extent like, okay, we'll show you how to do this, but we're not going to, you know, we're, we're, we're going to do it the one time type deal. They did their job. That's not discrimination. They did their job. They did what they supposed to do. They just not, they just not giving the extra help. If they if if their job is to show you how to pre-trip and they show you how to pre-trip, then they done their job. That's not discrimination. They just not going to be there when you ask questions or or ask them, can you show it to me again? They they not gonna do that. That's the type of type of response that she probably might be getting right now and getting the lawyer it's not going to help her case because number one you got to pay for a lawyer you got to have you you got to you got to retain the lawyer you got to put money down for the lawyer to get to work and then the lawyer got to go and do lawyer stuff it ain't going to take about a week about a month this probably might take a year so for the people that screaming Oh, well, go get a lawyer. Go get a lawyer. No, especially if it's not not if it was directed towards her or she was affected by that. Then, of course, there are lawyers that will take you on contingencies. But you got to talk to that lawyer first and then that lawyer will be like, oh, OK, well, we got a case. And if I take the case um, and if I beat it, I win type deal but not everybody could just could just up and afford a lawyer i'm i'm just saying you know in in that particular situation i mean yeah uh, you know just for that just stop saying lawyer please all right so listen to the young lady I'm, I'm sorry that's happening to you. Um, you know, maybe, maybe get your license first. And then if you want to be that crusader, you know, you could have got your license 
and then you could have went back and be like hey you know instructor uh, such and such is you know doing way too much but if you're complaining about every racist crap every every trucker that's 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 giving you sexual and sexist crap then you're not going to be making no money in this business you're going to just be bit you're going to be busy complaining about every mother sucker at the truck stop that's coming at you the wrong way and you're going to be complaining about that so if you again like i said if you're complaining about it now doing trucking school <laughs> you're not going to hand you're not going to handle it when you actually out here in the field because sister girl let me tell you let me tell you a lot of dudes a lot of a, a lot of dudes some of them maybe a handful of them they don't like women drivers i love women drivers but a few of them don't like women drivers and if you can't handle and if you can't handle that type of pressure then i would suggest you not getting in i would suggest you don't get in this frying pan because the fire is going to be too much for you big cheese got it locked boy